Hi, I'm Joan Collins, and I'm here with Harper's Bazaar UK to share some of the lessons that I have learned in this lifetime. One of the things I've learned about success is it does not last. And one of the things you have to do once you've climbed that ladder and gotten to where you think you want to be is to realize that the only way up is down and you have to take the rough with the smooth. Somebody asked me, Joan, what are you going to do if all this ends? And I said, it isn't a question of if, it's a question of when, because nothing lasts forever, particularly careers. You just have to accept it and not get upset about it. From a very early age, I wanted to be an actress. My grandmother was in show business, although she was a soubrette, a dancer, singer. And then I changed my mind as I got older. I wanted to be a ballerina, I wanted to be a detective, a dress designer, an author, a columnist, all kinds of things. But eventually, by the time I got to about 14, I realized that I really did want to be an actress. Well, my favorite television of course, is Dynasty. I loved, loved the character of Alexis. I know a lot of people hated her, but I had every sympathy with everything she went to. It was nine years of a lot of fun. I loved wearing those clothes. Some of them were completely crazy and over the top, I know. I think style is knowing your body, knowing your physicality, your hair, your legs, your eyes, and picking the two or three things, and everybody has those, that are the best that you can find, and making yourself look as good as you can. It's not slavishly copying things, but it is developing a particular look that you know suits you, whether it's baseball cap and jeans and trainers, or whether it's, you know, sequins and feathers. I think you have to find your look and your style. Do I have any advice for walking the red carpet? Yes, don't fall over on your stilettos because it can be very, very daunting to face all those flash bulbs. And I know sometimes it can make you feel kind of dizzy. I think you have to be comfortable in what you wear, whether it's a strapless mini dress or a ball gown, you have to feel that you look your best and that you're comfortable. Because if you're not comfortable, it'll show on your face. Lipstick is the one thing that always makes me feel good. Even if I go around a house without makeup on, I'll always put on lipstick. It's the queen of cosmetics, I think. My favorite self-care ritual is that I am religious about taking my makeup off every night, however exhausted I am, and also always, always using night cream. And the richer, the better. That I was told by my mother when I was 14. The best piece of beauty advice I've ever been given is keep your face out of the sun. I think my friends would describe me as incredibly energetic and my mother used to describe me as Miss Perpetual Motion because I never sat still but also I always had terribly lot of things going on. Reading, writing, uh, discovering things, playing with dolls, making furniture, making dolls clothes, painting, everything. I've learned about friendships that they can be very fickle and also some of them can be very, very meaningful and last for decades. Friendship in Hollywood is not a lasting situation and um, unfortunately a lot of people only like you if you are very successful. When I got the role of Alexis, my agent said, watch out Joan, the woodwork people will start coming out. And he was right. But I have a lot of very good friends. We're all very loyal to each other. What have I learned about confidence? It really is something that you get as you get older. Unless your parents tell you how fabulous you are from the second that you start to walk, you need to find your feet and realize that you are treading the path towards a reasonable, uh, good life. 
I've learned to deal with unfair criticism by ignoring it. I think that the today's things on um, social media are terrifying. I think everybody should stop posting posts and being rotten to people. So if anybody thinks they're sending me a post that's going to make me cower, I don't read it, baby. <laughs> what empowers me? I think I was a very early feminist. I was a feminist before people used that word. I lived my life quite a bit when I was very young, like a man. I dated, I, I lived with my boyfriends, and I um, tried to have parity with my leading men um, in terms of money and prestige. What I feel about feminism is that we are absolutely equal in every way to men with the exception of physical strength. The best piece of life advice, don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto, get over it. The last year and a half has been pretty hellish for everybody. I don't think I've particularly changed. I think I've become possibly a lot more sympathetic towards the pain and anguish that so many people have gone through. I feel that I'm very lucky to have a very supportive family. And those are my life lessons. You may not agree with all of them, but that's me.